On the hot seat today, we have celebrity chef one and only Massimo Capra. Massimo, how are you? How is life? I'm, I'm wonderful. Life is uh, miserable at the moment. I mean, I'm not doing what I want to do. But, uh, you know, we are home. We are uh, producing little videos with little recipes to keep people entertained. I mean, uh, nothing uh, restaurant-like. I mean, everything is like home style. So right. I love your videos. Massimo, Absolutely. thank you so much uh, for being in the hot seat today. As you know, we are raising money for animal shelters. We have yep. to help our friends. And I want to thank our sponsor, uh, CanadaLand.com, for uh, their donation. Thank you so much, guys. And I want to introduce you to my little princess, Bella. <laughs> I have two dogs. She's the cute one. Oh. <laughs> yes, we are dressed up today for the interview. And just so you know, she hates that. She's like, okay, you know what? I'm, like, I'm a dog. I know I'm little, but I'm a dog. So you can be so That's her personality. Right, right. Okay. Okay, Massimo. So let me tell you the rules. Talk to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we have prepared 10 questions. You're going to choose six random questions. Some okay. of them are easy and some mm -hmm. of them are a little bit spicy. Okay. But that's the whole fun about it, at least for us and our viewers. <laughs> Anna, choose any number. Uh, just give me number six. Number six, number six. Oh boy. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that's, I would consider this is the spicy one. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Massimo, Talk to me. the biggest ego? Rate the following chefs below. Mark McEwen, Susan yeah. Michael Stadtlander. I think oh. McEwen. Oh, you answered it. <laughs> <laughs> ching, ching. Thank you so much. We raised the money for the first question. Awesome. <laughs> okay, please pick another number between one and ten. Uh, eight. Okay. Number eight. All right, here we go. If you were on a deserted island and could only eat meals prepared by one chef, which of the following chefs would you choose and why? So we okay. have Bobby Flay, Gordon Ramsay, or Jamie Oliver. Ooh, you know what? I, uh, I love uh, Gordon Ramsay. Okay. Yes. Hi. Well, Absolutely. Well, well, why? Why Massimo? He has a good range. He understands food very well, and he's not, uh, um, you know, he's, he's very accurate in what he does, and he really has the the palate that I have. So I mean, I really enjoy his food. Oh, awesome. Okay. Here's another one. Hey. Here's another one. So many. Oh no! <laughs> I love it. I you love gotta it. give me a hint. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Massimo, please pick number between one and ten for another okay, question. Okay, three. Number three, number three. Ah, oh, this is not a very tough question. Okay, let's see. Even though you are a world famous chef, is there a dish that even the great uh, the great Massimo cannot master? Oh boy, there is so many. No. Uh, so many dishes. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. I was telling Angelica, if he ever pick this question, he's, he's not going to be able to answer. He probably can. No, I, I can't answer the question. Absolutely. I can't because uh, uh, there are so many, so many styles of cuisine that I love and I cannot learn their techniques. I mean, uh, they're so out of my uh, ability. Hmm, it's, what kind of cuisine that would be? Yeah. I mean, it would take me a lifetime of learning to really get to it and and uh, probably um, you know master uh, I, I probably can master most of the stuff but you know what I mean it would take me a, an extra lifetime. <laughs> See and I'm surprised with that question. Okay, yeah. thank you. Another question, Massimo. Any number between one and ten? Okay, uh, number two. Number two. Okay. So over the years, you collaborated with many chefs and celebrities. Which yes. collaboration you would think twice about doing it again? Which collaboration I would think twice? Yeah, twice. <laughs> that means we have a good time. <laughs> well, uh, you know what? I uh, didn't enjoy my uh, stint with Bobby Flay. Really? Yeah. Okay. 
And you can give us more like juices. <laughs> I, I found them a little too arrogant for my liking. Really? I'm a very down-to-earth uh, person and I'm very easygoing. And I found that when I met them 10 years ago, it, it was an extremely arrogant and uh, very difficult moment, I guess, for him. I don't know. But uh, I, um, yeah, I didn't enjoy my time with them. Mm, okay. I'm very surprised because watching his uh, cooking shows, I would never guess that. Yeah, it seems to be very, very big in the States. I mean, but that's TV. Mm -hmm. uh, they all take uh, their, their likes and uh, dislikes. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't have, a, I don't have, a, I don't hate him or anything. I mean, I probably could work with him again if I had to, but uh, I, I would think twice about it. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't, exactly. I don't know. Uh, I, would, uh, Asimo, I, I, you know, sorry. you are very humble and I really like. Yeah, that's, that's my thing, right? You are, I've seen you sometimes during yeah. different events and you talk to anybody, you take pictures, you just, yeah. everybody, you know, you're talking. So thank you so much for that. You're amazing. I enjoy that. And we, and you are in a hot seat today and look what's going <laughs> on. We like, keep you like. <laughs> Another question. And One more uh, Nine. Nine. Let's go nine. Oh. I, this is more personal. I don't think it's difficult. Let's see if uh, okay. I can answer the question. I'm an open book. I mean, everybody knows everything about me. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. We all enjoy junk food time to time. Ooh. Which is your favorite fast food chain and what would you order? <laughs> Oh, fast food chain. Are you kidding me? I love all the fast food chains. You know? <laughs> From Taco Bell to McDonald's to uh, whatever, you know. I mean, I, I, I listen, there is one thing that I do anytime I travel, I have to have chicken nuggets from McDonald's and the sauces, and I dip them, and I love that. But okay. then I stop at Harvey's as well, and I have their other sandwich. I think in the States is much, much better than Canada. Uh, I I love all of those things, you know. Last year we went, we drove down to Florida with my son and my wife, and we drove down to Florida, and my son and I stopped at every junk food place that, that was there. And I hate calling it junk food because you know, <laughs> you know what? That's the price you pay for success, right? I mean, <laughs> you turn it into something that everybody wants, and then all of a sudden it's becoming junk food. <laughs> you know, you yeah. can't help it. I have to have pizza. That, that's my weakness. How about you, Angelica? Yeah, same. Yeah, pizza. And pizza? Yeah. Oh, I'm dying for a pizza right now. I can't wait to restart my ovens and start making good pizza. I know. You know I, I, I know. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's going to happen soon, you know? It will. I, there used to be a time that I had to go all the way to Italy to have a proper pizza, okay. you know? And that's not too long ago in this town. We, I had to travel to Italy all through the 90s and the early 2000s in order to go and have proper pizza because nobody was making it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the pizza craze came out and now everybody's going crazy over the Napolitana style pizza, which is not one of my favorite. I prefer just a standard regular pizza made in a wood burning oven. Mm -hmm. And I have lots of pizzerias at home that make it. And then I started my own place, and uh, I'm enjoying my own pizza because that's the way that I really like it. What's your favorite <laughs> topic pizza? Do you like Massimo? I, you know what? I, it's not that I don't like. Uh, I, I think that there is a lot of good pizzerias all over the city. Um, I don't enjoy the Napolitana style because I find it too burnt and uh, too soggy. Oh, okay. Time, okay. it's like uh, it's like that 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 notion that is lighter is BS. I don't care for it. Uh, you know what I mean? I think that a proper pizza, uh, I know in Naples they don't like it crisp and they soggy and all that, but uh, I go over all of that. I lived in Italy for 22 years. I lived in Naples. I lived in, uh, in, uh, in Tuscany. I lived in, uh, in, uh, in Lombardy. I, I'm Italian, okay? I mean, that cannot fool me, okay? <laughs> and I know the stories that they're giving out to everybody, but uh, they're making me crazy. You know, I have my own palate for pizza. Yeah. Yes. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and I like marinara, the simplest pizza. That's oh, yeah, marinara, just tomato sauce, that's it. That's you know, garlic, garlic and, and that's a glass of red wine, and I'm a happy camper. That's what there I like. Yeah. Okay. Do we have one more question? One more question, Massimo, the last one. The last one. Okay, number seven. 
Oh, yes. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I want a hard one. <laughs> okay. So who is the most pain in the butt personality you work with? The most uh, pain in the butt personality you work with. <laughs> pain in the butt. Oh wow. Uh, oh my. I work with a lot of people, especially in the nineties. Uh Oh, gee, who would that be? Who would that be? Who, do we, who, who do we throw under the bus uh, this yes, time? let's do that. <laughs> we already did Bobby because it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Um, the most pain in the butt personality. You know what? I had, I had nothing but a great experiences with a lot of the super celebrities and uh, and superstars. I mean, I, I know you, you are aware of... Uh, you know the days of Prego de la Piazza and all that, right? With uh, with the super elite really hiding away in, in our restaurant, coming to cook with me in the kitchen and all that. So I mean, I don't have very many bad experiences, other than uh, perhaps uh, it was Van Morrison that uh, completely verbally attacked a, a, a fan of his, and uh, and that okay. kind of <laughs> turned me off of him. Uh, but <laughs> me personally, I didn't have any bad experiences with anybody really that I can remember, you know. Okay. Everyone has always been very, uh, very, very nice, yeah. But I've seen celebrities act badly in my restaurant, yes. Wow. You know what? You are an open book. I like that, Massimo. You're pretty honest. You're very honest. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, listen, uh, uh, th this person went up to uh, went up to Van Morrison and uh, said, you know what? I really enjoy your music. And uh, and the guy without batting an eye said, you know what? Get the half far away from my table. I'm trying to have lunch here. I don't need wow. your BS. You know? So, oh, wow. that's, that's I mean, I thought that was pretty rude. I mean, all he had to do is say thank you and uh, move on, right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. So it was totally unnecessary. Ada, how much money did we raise? He did really good. Yeah. Massimo, we raised $500 in a few minutes. Oh my goodness. Yes. Thank Beautiful. you. Thank you. Well, that's a good use. I hate when they mistreat animals, you know? You are amazing. And yeah. I also want to thank one more time our sponsor, CanadaLand.com. Guys, thank you so much. You have such a big heart. We really appreciate that. And Massimo, me and Angelica will want to come soon to Capra Kitchen for a great Please lunch of dinner, yeah, great <laughs> bottle of wine, and enjoy, you know, gathering together. Oh, yeah. my. We need to go back and doing that, you know. It's going to happen, you know. I, I yeah. I'm yes. very optimistic that it will. In the meantime, follow me on Instagram, at Chef Capra, and, uh, you know, have fun with what I do. You know, yeah. it's totally loose. Thank I you. love watching you. I seriously, like... City line or or um, on your Instagram. I yeah, Instagram. wall of chefs. Uh, you know what I mean. All the various uh, platform, fridge wars, wall of chefs. Uh, I don't know. They're still playing a little bit of a restaurant makeover, I believe, somewhere. So mm -hmm. oof, there okay. is so much out there. Um, <laughs> thank you again. Thank you all for watching, and see you next week with another amazing guest. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye to everybody. Thank bye you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.